Brazil. Knowledge is the way to peace. I had never felt so much fear as I did during the coronavirus pandemic. I saw humanity in prison while fighting a war against the invisible. The lack of knowledge about this disease left us with no choices. To me, peace is not just the absence of war. It is to live without fear. Peace is having freedom of thought and expression. Peace is a right to all beings. As a representative of beauty, as a communicator, as a woman, my fight is for knowledge because it is through knowledge that a scientist develops a vaccine against a little virus. It is through knowledge that we can get to know ourselves and the world around us better. Peace is knowledge because it allows us to have a choice and the power of choice set us free and freedom freedom generates peace Miss Grand Cambodia For me, for me, to stop the war and violence, we need to start from our humanity and our young generation to give them education and knowledge. And show about advice of the world on the world in the past, and nowadays shut us Myanmar right now. To make the world become a better place, peace, we need to make solidarity, share the love, and respect to stop corruption and injustice. I will use my voice to be in power movement to make a mistake for all the people. Share the love to make a mistake for all people, all nations and country. That we live on the same earth like our home because we are grand the one and only. Miss Grand Costa Rica. We live in a world divided by its trolley where people are victims of violence just for being who they are. The human race has achieved scientific success. We have produced robots, explored the oceans, and even reached space. But something basic is missing. We haven't learned the simple art of building peace, the kind of peace that makes this world worth living. I come from a country without an army. I may not know how war feels, but I do know the results of investing in education, health, and the environment instead of war. And that's our strongest weapon to face harsh times like these. These harsh times are the starts of something new. But to heal and overcome, we must make peace with one another and be the change we want to see in the world. Because it's my conviction that global change begins within ourselves. Thank you. Miss Grand Ecuador. Every year, women around the world unite to us one more time. Stop the war. We know what we are talking about. We know Violence start at home, start at the school. Today, I want to recognize teachers who have done the impossible to go on teaching, 
providing peace at children's job in quarantine. However, I want to ask the educational system for a change. Educators have to focus on children's mental health, teaching emotional intelligence. These children will be our leaders, and our leaders have to act consciously, with more love, with more empathy, and less ego. If we want true peace, we have to defend our future peace soldiers and give them the right ammunition, books, and self-love. Kapun Ka. Miss Grand Indonesia. I believe in peace. And our journey to accomplishing peace is through the means of embracing our diversity. We breathe the same air. War stems from hatred. And hatred can only be tolerated in a dim-lit world. I will not tolerate words of war or actions of violence. And not only will I not tolerate these terms, but I will do my part every day to actively advocate against them. It is with my understanding that we should come together, unite, to rewrite the mistakes of our past and create a better future for the youth to come. I stand here today not by coincidence. I am here today because I have a grand purpose. Thank you. Yeah. Miss Grand Puerto Rico. As a consequence of misinformation, inequality, and lack of respect, we've been lost in war and violence. But it's not too late to turn around our grand world. So tonight, I stand in front of you asking you to reflect about the long-term effects of war. As a communicator, I firmly believe in the power of assertive communication. And it's up to us to use this as a tool to promote unity and a society in which each one safe regards its rights and those of others. We have to pay attention to initiatives that promote equal opportunity and access to education, security, and health care without caring about the person's gender, race, or sexual orientation. It's all about human rights. If we unite and use this as our social basis, there's no telling what we can achieve. Capunca. Miss Grand South Africa. As a woman, I live in fear every single day. In South Africa, 688 girls aged between 9 and 10 gave birth in 2020. 35,000 babies were born to girls aged 17 and younger. Rape, sexual abuse, and gender-based violence are all things that contribute to these statistics. I would like to use this opportunity to remind you that wars and violence doesn't only happen between nations. It happens in schools and in homes. As Ms. Grand International 2021, I would like to use my advocacy of leadership through education to help grow and develop a more peaceful society. Education is the best weapon which we can use to change the world. In South Africa, we believe in Ubuntu. I am because we are. 
We are stronger together. Miss Grand Spain. I'm a woman. I'm a free woman. A woman that fights to be the best possible version of herself and for her rights. But sadly, not all of us are this lucky. One out of three women suffer from gender violence every year. One out of three women has her own fight with society every day. But the worst thing is that they don't believe us. They don't believe our stories. So, what are we waiting for? Do you want to be the next one? Your daughter, your sister, or your friend? I don't want to. Today I stand here to tell you that no matter the clothes I wear, no matter the time I decide to go alone, you don't have the right for nothing. From here I want to send a message to all the women around the world. You are not alone. No están sola. Si sin kind of line. Tamen bin bugudan. As Miss Grand International 2021, I promise you that we are going to fight together. Miss Grand Venezuela. The pandemic erased the borders of the world. It reminded us that beyond being a passport, a flag, a religion, a gender, or a color, we all breathe the same air. And yes, we speak different languages, but we all feel the same emotions. Egos and the lack of empathy are the main reasons for so many senseless wars. So let's silence the cries of egos and let's start listening more to the heartbeat of being. Let's look for solutions rather than saviors. But we have to know that we must work together as a team, citizen and government, together as one, using truth and science and shields, respecting human rights, and of course, abandoning egos. So what do you say? That superhero we are always looking for is smiling back at us in the mirror. So. Do we allow ourselves to overcome by fear, or do we wake up and shake the world? Miss Grand Vietnam. Peace is like the air you rouse us. We live it every day, we think about it every day, but somehow we assume that protecting it is not our responsibility. War doesn't just occur in the past. War is the fight between the evil and angel inside each of us. So we are the one who can manage it, and we are the one who can control it. Growing up without my parents taught me how important love is. And I'm standing here for the one who feel neglected, abandoned, and somehow you want to spread the pain and the hurt to others. Please let their love and sympathy raise in your inner self so that war and violence cannot happen. I could be neglected, but I won't ignore you because I know that each of us are the part of changing the world. We are our own hero. Let us all make the grand whole world peace and beautiful. Thumb hello, Bentley, the Queen Quadom, Sam Rap, Tukun. Thank you.